Hi Aries, Someone Rising and Venus, and welcome to another love reading for April 2022. I'll be taking a look at your love interests, how they're viewing you, their feelings and actions they plan on taking, and then towards the end, I'll be taking a look at singles looking for new love. All right, Aries, please keep in mind this will not resonate with all of you, so you're more than welcome to check your other placements. Let's see, what does this person on your mind want to say to you? What are their feelings or energy surrounding you at this time? person want to tell Aries oh wow okay under the deck you have I want to reunite with you and the card that flew out here I miss you so much so Aries it looks like this person on your mind wants to see you again they want to reunite with you go out with you have fun with you talk to you this person is missing you like crazy, but let's go ahead and dig further, all right? All right, how is this person viewing Aries? Sky Angels, Holy Spirit, give me clear messages. How is this person viewing Aries? One more. All right. What is this person's feelings for Aries? What is this person's feelings? And what action, what action does this person plan on taking? What action does this person plan on taking towards Aries? Tell me more. Wow, all right. Okay. So, Aries, how this person is viewing you. Received and vibration. So this really speaks of viewing you as your very... Like you're, you're vibing at a high frequency right now. Okay. They see you that you're, that you're really focused on yourself, really focused on maintaining yourself positive at a high vibration, not letting anything negative affect you, staying positive. There was something here that was received. Okay. Maybe you told this person something, maybe you could have sent them a text message an email, a phone call, something was said here. I'm picking up a heavy energy where something was said. Let's clarify. Tell me more about how this person is viewing Aries. Tell me more. I'm just going to stare how this person is viewing Aries. You have the Justice card, the Ace of Swords in reverse, and the Knight of Cups. Again, I feel like this person is viewing you as someone who's very balanced, at least staying balanced. They see you also as someone who's very fair, like you expect things to be fair, you expect things to be equal. If not, then you cut them off here. You don't take any bullshit. That's what I'm really feeling right now. With the star card here, I feel like they do view you as someone who's very... It was very beautiful. You go for what it is that you want. And I feel like this person sees you as like a wish fulfillment, as like a star here. Like literally like a star. Some of you could be in the public eye here or you may be really good at what you do. Or you could be very, very attractive. For very few of you, they could be viewing you as someone who maybe is a little harsh at times or says, because, you know, you're very straightforward, Aries, right? So this person may be feeling butthurt, let's put it that way, okay? But with the Knight of Cups, they could also be viewing you as maybe someone who's very in and out when it comes to emotions. Like, maybe one minute you're very nice, the next minute you're like, ah, I don't want to talk to you. But that doesn't mean it's true. That's just how they're viewing you, okay? They see you as someone who's very hard working here. Give me one more. How's this person viewing Aries? You could be dealing with a Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Aquarius. Yeah, the Empress in reverse. This person may be feeling shut down by you. Like you're really focused on yourself here. Yeah, they see that you're very, very, very focused on yourself here. Not really taking a risk with them or a leap of faith with them. Maybe you're ignoring their messages, their phone calls. You could have blocked this person. And for some of you, you could have a child together. If not, then they're just viewing you as someone who is more focused and invested in yourself than in them or the connection. Now, how this person is feeling about you at this time, pause, okay? So they feel like the situation, the connection is at a pause. Let's dig further. Tell me more 
more about this person's feelings for Aries. All right, the High Priestess, the Hermit, and the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like right now your person is taking a pause to really reflect on the whole connection situation, whatever it is that happened between you two. Now, I do feel like they're viewing you as someone who's very intuitive, or you could be dealing with someone who's very intuitive, Aries, okay? Pisces energy, Virgo, but they could be feeling like the situation came to an ending here. Scorpio energy, tell me more. Person's feelings for Aries. Yeah, the Queen of Swords in reverse. They're holding back from communicating because I feel like this person's trying to gain some type of clarity about the whole situation. And the Three of Cups. It could have been a third party for others of you. This could just simply talk about them missing the times you two shared. The dates you went on with this person. They want to have fun with you. They miss the good times here. Page of Pentacles. You could be dealing with someone who's younger, or there could be something about a younger Capricorn Virgo Taurus in the situation. This person's feelings for Aries. Give me one more. Yeah, the Three of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like right now they feel like it's really difficult to reconcile. They could be feeling confused about the whole situation connection. Five of Pentacles. Someone could have been left out in the cold. Or they're feeling left out in the cold. Ace of Cups, though, they still love you. They still have feelings for you. They desire to have a new beginning with you. But again, I feel like either you two are not seeing eye to eye or they feel like it's difficult to reconcile. Let's go ahead and take a look at the actions they plan on taking. Actions this person plans on taking. Wow. Signs, ascending, and metamorphosis. I see your person going through a big, big, big transformation, Aries. I feel like they will be receiving a lot of signs, okay? That's kind of going to push them to ascend here. That's going to push them to ascend to this, like, beautiful butterfly. No longer being in that caterpillar state here. Tell me more. The action this person plans on taking. I'm also hearing that they want to transform the connection with you, the lovers. Gemini energy. I see them coming in here very hot and heavy, all right? What action does this person plan on taking? Some of you may, may have a passionate reunion with this person. Page of Wands. Yeah, they're definitely communicating here. Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. You or this person, someone here is younger. I see them sending you a text message, calling you, reaching out. King of Pentacles. They could give you some money. That's a random message or buy you a gift. Knight of Wands. I see them coming in here very, very hot and heavy. Very charismatic, very passionately. The Emperor. And reverse and the two of cups so this person will be communicating I see them letting go of control issues here I see them possibly wanting to either passionately reunite with you or I see them communicating in some passionately form here could be dealing with someone who's a soulmate here give me one more what actions is this person kind of taking towards Aries what action does this person plan on taking? The Five of Swords now came out sideways. They may even come forward and apologize for something. Okay, something that's been weighing very heavy on them here. For some of you, if this person ghosted you or left you out in the cold, I see them apologizing for that. Regretting that. I see them coming forward towards you here. Yeah, Ace of Wands possibly offering you a new beginning. And again, I really pick up a heavy energy of intimacy all right so just be on the lookout for that i see intimacy here but all right aries let's go ahead and move on to singles who or what is coming towards aries singles please in love ace of cups cancer energy king or queen of cups pisces cancer scorpio energy who is coming towards Aries singles? 
and the strength card, Leo energy. Yeah, I see heavy water here. Okay, maybe even a Leo coming your way. This is definitely a newer energy, or this could talk about a new beginning as well here. Someone who's very nurturing, emotionally stable, supportive, compassionate. This could also be a healer for some of you. Someone who's very patient as well. Tell me more about this new love or this ace of cups here for Aries and April. The lovers, Gemini energy. Wow. Very passionate as well. A lot of attraction here. A lot of attraction and a lot of love as well. And the hair bump, Taurus energy. Yeah, I feel like for some of you, this is something that could be very stable. All right. This is something that could um, be long term. Could, le could even lead to marriage. Here we go. The sun card. What I say? Marriage for some of you. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. No longer staying single, being in a commitment. So beautiful energy here, all right, singles. I see that there's a passionate and very emotional connection coming your way that could lead to marriage, all right? This is going to make you very happy, very motivated. Could even lead to marriage for some of you here. But I'm seeing strong Leo, Taurus, Gemini, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Let's see, give me one more, one more before I close out this reading. Aries singles, tell me more. For some of you, this person could be in your work environment or you might have similar interests. Two of Cups, wow, Aries, wow. Yeah, I feel like your next relationship is going to be one that's long-term here. That could lead to marriage for sure here. Soulmate energy, strong Cancer again, Leo, Gemini, Taurus here. And a lot of attraction as well. I will say that some of you may meet each other through a friend or you may start off as friends. But there's going to be a lot of co compatibility here. A lot. Similar interests. Very stable. But all right, Aries, this was your love slash general reading for April 2022. If it did not resonate, feel free to check your other placements. Thank you to all my loyal subscribers who continue to love and support my channel. And if you haven't already, please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.